Hey, me, boy. Yes, sir. I want to ask you a question. Go ahead. How do you feel about the fat, ugly one? Well, usually the fat, ugly one is usually the brains behind the whole thing. She wants to help. And if she says that you're no good, he's a bum, whatever this and that, it's going to be hard to break that wall down. Right. And once right, you right, have right. that confidence, once yeah. you get it, you got to do whatever you got to do. Slip her a cheeseburger. Or <laughs> you know, whatever you got to do. And you guys are laughing because you've all done this. Yeah. Once why you don't you just? Why, why don't you just bend the fat, ugly one over and give us some and change our mind? No, because then because, no, because no girl, girl wants to. No. Now we're going to get to that now. Okay. That's the psychopath. Because what? that one will never leave you alone. That's right. She'll That's torture right. you. That's because right. Because now finally someone paid attention to her and you can't get rid of her. And yeah, she but now you're you paid attention to her for a certain reason. Right. And you if said, you, I'm going to show this chick some attention. So maybe I can shut her the fuck up. No, and she stop work. interviewing. No, she'll stop no, no, no. interviewing nah, in my affair. Let, let me tell I you what. Throw her some shit. You know what I'm saying? I, let me tell you what happens. At, as a man who's banged plenty of fat chicks in my younger days, if there is another girl that you like in the circle, that chick will verbally destroy you behind your back. Yep. She will say that you are the biggest piece of shit and you need to stay away from that son of a bitch. He ain't shit. He's just going to go off, so on and so forth. All right. I'm going to change hold on. Time. Just in case there are women out there, like I said, they don't have to be fat or ugly. If you're in a club and you're in that circle with the purses, yeah. Oh. if she's the one that's grabbing the person you want to talk to, that's you're right. the one. Yeah. Well, the I'm going to say one thing before we get off the topic of fat bitches. Fat women need love too. Oh, listen, there are some. Oh, yeah. Listen, I'm, I'll be the first one to say there are some women that are fat and look damn good. They're yep. just they're fat in the right spot. Now, there's a difference between being a slob and being thick. Do you know what I mean? But there are some women out there that are thick in the right spot, and they always they look their heads always done, the nails always done, the feet always always smell good. I have no problem with those girls. But it's, that's right. It's that's right. Yeah, it's the six hundred pound life. What are those? What are the sisters? The two <laughs> six hundred. What's that shit? The six hundred pound something on yeah, TV? I well, can't. <laughs> nah. You, you start nah, tipping this fucking with that. You start we're going to the club. She's driving that Toyota Corolla four cylinder as the engine screaming, <laughs> trying to get her way up the hill on the BQ. And you tipping the scale oh, yeah. over three hundred. I'm not fucking with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 300, 240, 240. I'm saying, what? Oh, shit. 600. All right, all right, so, listen, all right so we got it down. All the right. honest alpha male, the, the shit that runs the whole show. Right. Learn uh, to be sociable. Sociable, confident. And, 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 and don't, don't make it seem as if she is the only option. You have options. And brothers, young brothers, get in touch with with your feelings. No, no. do not yes. do that. Yes. No. Yes. No. Get to your Ed, motherfucking feelings. Ed knew. But you know no. who you are don't as a person. Steve Smith. And don't let these bitches play you yeah. because you know who you are. Fuck that. That's right. Yeah. And if you're over 21 years old, get out of your house. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Last topic. And this one, this one, this topic is dear to me. I feel like and it's been my experience that there is a shortage of big titties in the United States. <laughs> How do you say that? Well, what yeah, I'm getting it. Plants? Yeah, here's the thing. The girls are not interested in big titties anymore. They all want big asses now. They all get the, the Brazilian butt lift. They get, they get the implants, but they forget about the titties. And if they got implants, they're little, they're little implant titties. Remember when in the 90s, when every chick had big titties. That's right. Right? And if they had right. implants, they got giant implants because of Pam Anderson and Carmen Electra. Well, Kim Kardashian came along and changed that whole shit. And everybody wants a big ass now. And I'm here to I'm here to tell you ladies, there ain't nothing wrong with a big ass. But get titties that match. You need titties. Listen, there ain't nothing wrong with big titties and a big ass. That's right. But I gotta I gotta disagree with you on one thing. Go ahead. Because I like big titties, 
And I like a nice, voluptuous, fat ass. But that shit gotta be real. Fuck that fake shit. If that shit is not real, you're not impressing me, goddamn it. Because yeah. I can go get that skinny bitch down the block and pay for her to get big titties and big ass. Because I've won the fuck up since childhood. And now she's got big titties <laughs> and big ass. And now I really want to fuck her. You know what I'm saying? But, but you Man. know, if your shit ain't natural, it don't impress me. I don't give a fuck how big your titties are, how big your ass are. If it's not natural, it's not appealing to me. That's my opinion. You got to have some meat on the bone. Gotta gotta be be I'll tell you this right now. I don't, be care. I don't care if the titties is fake. I don't care if the ass is fake. All I want to know is why isn't your fake ass bouncing on my face? That's all <laughs> I want to know. I know I am not that person that could be selective. But like, nah, bitch. You, you can have one fake titty and one real titty. <laughs> no, listen. John, let's be real, John. Yeah, if you saw a chick that had some nice big titties that were real, and you yeah. said, ooh, damn, those titties are delicious. Yeah. But then, then you see another chick, they got bigger titties, and they're fake. Yeah. You're going after that bigger fake titty bitch because she got her titties the bigger. Yeah. And just let's keep it real. Give it a buck. You know, yeah. you like big titties. That's it. So, I, like big, I like a big ass, too. But what I'm saying well, is, I'm girls just saying. concentrate more on their ass than anything else. Well, yeah, but you see, like, you know that whole Brazilian butt lift shit, yeah. right? You ever see, like, I don't know, maybe you do, you don't, but you see videos of bitches that got that Brazilian butt lift, and you could, like, kind of see that you could tell a bitch that got a butt lift that ain't real, as opposed to a chick that just got a nice, fat, voluptuous ass. You yeah. put them both together, you can see the difference, right? And I'm looking at a chick that said, you know, damn, her ass is all bloated because she got that Brazilian butt lift, and yeah, she got a fat ass, but it ain't real. Then you got her standing next to a chick that that got a fucking voluptuous apple bottom ass that's real. That's the chick that I'm going for, because that shit is natural. That's fine. No, that's fine, but I I don't care if it's real or fake. I don't. That makes a difference to me. I don't care. I don't don't give a shit. As a matter of fact, I'm, if um, you want to? If you don't have an ass, or you only got a little ass, and you want to get a Brazilian, go right ahead. I could care less. I just, I don't. I'm not selective about cosmetics. I am. I, I don't care. I, 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 I like, tell chicks. You know, I tell chicks like if I'm like trying to meet, date you or whatever the thing, you know, and we're talking and shit, and like I see her. What makes me attracted to her is the fact that she's the chick that, that when you see her profile. She don't got a lot of makeup on. It's like all natural beauty, no makeup. Yep. Maybe a little lipstick. That's it. That's it. Right? I was I always into that. that natural. I love that because I that like shit dirty, is natural like beauty. That bitches. means when I wake up next to you the next day, you gonna look how you look right now. You ain't gonna look like a whole different chick if you okay. if I meet you the night before and you got all kinds of eyelashes and all yeah. kinds of shit on and and then and you, uh, I'm drunk and you look good that night. But then when I wake up to you the next morning, you look like Godzilla. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, what the fuck was yeah. I thinking about? Now, now, you know, John, no. John, like you no. said, you like all that makeup stuff. You know, you go on the internet and you see these girls and they look absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's gorgeous. filters. Yeah, that's nine. Perfect. No, no, no. Nine. And they take off this makeup and they don't even look the same. Yeah, I don't. I, you, I you you really gonna take that chance? I like filthy women. You like that shit? I like filthy, filthy, disgusting. You gotta, you gotta, you just have raunchy. Raunchy. Just, just raunchy. raunchy. You gotta, you have to disgrace your family name for generations. <laughs> Your, your great great your yeah. great great grandfather should completely ignore the fact that you existed. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> I'm a I'm a fuck yeah. Yeah. I'm a I'm a fuck yeah right now, right? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> I'm a little drunk. You know no, what's you know what's really appealing to me? And this is you say, oh yeah, you got some underlying sneaky shit going on, Steve. A fucking wholesome girl. What? Yes. Because yes, because she is. I don't want to say. I got. Well, I have to say she's inexperienced, but 
you know, she's wholesome and she ain't got no kind of impurities that would make you think she's a slut or any of that kind of shit. She's just fucking wholesome. And but at the same time, she's sexy because she looked good and all that kind of shit. And but she's not a slut. She's fucking wholesome. That shit's attractive. Because you know why? Because she don't know anybody. <laughs> That's when the corrupt shit of you come uh, uh, That's when the yeah. corruption comes out. Because you're like, oh my God, she's wholesome and pure and yeah. she'll know any better. So I can fucking corrupt this bitch. Yo, Steve, I got a Hasidic Jew that's, a, that's single. I know. <laughs> how about an, Listen, I, how about an I will fucking I'll throw that fucking yarmulke to the side and blow her fucking back out. You like hairy armpits and shit, and that's wholesome. Oh no, that's nasty. That's oh, a strip, man. That's I know what. You what you need to do is you need to go to Amish town in Pennsylvania and get yes. yourself a wholesome chick. Yes, I have all those bitches over there making all kinds of furniture. <laughs> 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 make sure you make sure you leave a hole in this cabinet right here for me and you. <laughs> uh, I don't know, like you know, man. I, 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 I've always had a weakness for dirty girls, but I always knew that they were gonna be the 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 death of me. So I always like took them and then just threw them away, kind of like played because I knew I knew dirty girls aren't the girl you marry; they're the dirty. Dirty bitches. But you know, you know when I realized I didn't like fake, big, big fake titties, right? I was at this club in Manhattan. What the fuck was the name of that club? Uh, I don't remember the name. It's some strip club on 59th Street on 7th Avenue or some shit. I can't remember the name of it, right? But we went there, right? After work. I was working in Manhattan and we went there after work and, you know, have some beers and, you know, just watch some ass jiggle and shit, right? And this chick came up to me. We sitting right at the bar. I had a Heineken in front of me, right? And this chick came up to me, and her titties were so fucking big that they, you know, like the veins were popping out and all kinds of stuff. Like they were huge, right? And I said, and I didn't even know you then, John, because I was still in the plumbers local. I said, what the fuck am I supposed to do with those big ass titties? <laughs> <laughs> You want to? Oh, you want to start choosing people for a game? Like we're gonna play some basketball with them shits or something, or what? Like them shits was huge, right? And I said, "Oh no, that don't do that for me." I love you know, that shit. They were too. They were so fucking big, John. I didn't know what the Deal, fuck. Big fake. I don't give a shit. Just stick them shits in my face, son. Just give me a slim girl or a thick girl with some natural titties. And I'm I'm gonna be like this. To each I'm, his own. I'm, I'm I'm be sucking those motherfuckers till they ain't no milk left. Uh, you know that's hey, me. Meeple, what about you? What do you prefer? You like fake titties, big t well, You know, we me and Steve I like natural. I like natural. Uh, very little makeup. I would. I was all, always into that. I never. I like. Liked, I like filth. I, I like know. Well, well, you like that. It, it, it's well, back to. Like relationship wise, hanging out, you wanted natural beauty, but you know everybody wants a skank here and there. How right? Do you not want a skank? <laughs> yeah. Some yeah. Bistre, you know, you banged her, and then you like you wake up the next morning, you're like, you ask your mother, you know, where's the local doctor? You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's uh, this happened guy, to me you, once. Yeah, take dad's insurance. I'm asking your mother where the local doctor is. You're waking up, and you're in your mom's house. What the fuck is going on? Well, well, I'm still young. When, I when was you're young, 18. Yeah. That actually happened to me once. I was like in my early 20s and I was with this girl and I went straight to the doctor like that week. I made an appointment. I'm like, this bitch. Let me tell you something about this. I, Steve, I swear to God, true story. I'm not fucking kidding. Meet this girl. Okay. We're in a club. It was in my, my early 20s. Right. How old was I? 21, 22, whatever. Yo, we hung out. We like went to the movies, went right to a hotel. Yo, this bitch had a, a tattoo. Under her titty that said "Lucky You." <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, "Ooh, right." And then I did my thing that night. And then the next day, I was like, "Fuck, I gotta call Doctor De Janeiro because that was the family doctor. I gotta call Doctor De Janeiro and make an appointment." De Janeiro, <laughs> that shit sounds real generic. That was the De Janeiro. Doctor De Janeiro. Sounds like a Thailand or some shit. Yeah. 
All right, you guys have any last words? So, wait, I so what did Dr. DeGenero say? He kind of laughed at me. He goes, you're fine. But he sent me for blood work, and then he called me. He goes, you're fine. Oh, but, sure. uh, what, uh, but um, you guys have any last words? Because I'm done. I got a last word. Go ahead. You young motherfuckers that's watching this shit, you better take note because you got the real truth from some OGs, motherfucker. Yes. And that's how we get down. That's okay? right, son. That's right. And you better fucking believe it. That's right, god damn it. Yep. And heed our words because it's the truth. That's and right. we are living proof to, to, to show it. So god damn it, understand this is how we get down. That's right. What about you, Meatball? Any last that's words? How we, that's how we do it. We say the truth. We're honest. No bullshit. I'm toasting to that that's shit, son. That's right. That's right. We're toasted. old, handsome, and successful. Yes. Mm. And for you young chicks out there, I got some shit for you. If you come <laughs> my way, I'm blowing bitches' backs out yes, on the regular. Only single one. Huh? I said you're the only single one. <laughs> <laughs>